In his third professional term, Raiders receiver Hunter Renfrow has become one of quarterback Derek Carr's most trusted targets. This superstar currently leads the team with 73 receptions from 760 yards and four touchdowns. The man also plays with an excellent 79% catch rate. Now that's really good if you ask anyone who's paying attention. The superstar receiver's skill has been especially featured in the last two games in Las Vegas as Clemson grabbed eight assists in the 134-yard win over the Cowboys. Renfrow then got as much as nine receptions in a 102-yard loss to Washington this past week. In a news conference on Wednesday, Derek said he isn't at all surprised by the way Renfrow has matured as a recipient in his third year. Anyways, before we get any deeper, be sure to leave a like on this video if you happen to care about Hunter Renfrow's rise in progress in the game. Also, if you want to take part in this month's brand new iPhone 13 draw, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and watch this video to the end to find and comment on the hidden post. Good luck! Now, Carr and Hunter have spent more time together than any receiver that the superstar QB has ever had on and off the field. Derek himself said this in an interview, and so the level of communication they have is of a very high standard, and there's no way this does not improve their playing capacity. When you also add the extra incentive trust between these two is very high, then you can expect impeccable execution. And this we've seen time and time again this season from the total refreshing wide receiver. Derek also stated that he believes that Renfrow is certainly one of the best currently from the NFL draft. However, the Raiders team generally still has a long way to go. The Raiders are 6-6 six six currently and their playoff hopes are waning. Thus, it is very much needed that Carr and Renfrow's connection works out perfectly to get the team to the finish line, as it will go a long way to help beat the Chiefs and keep Las Vegas on the hunt. But then, let's take a closer look at this often underestimated Starman. He is the soft-spoken and overlooked attacker who has defied the probabilities of football since he stepped into Clemson years ago. Renfrow has since shown that he's made of more than most people can immediately see from his personality. Hunter Renfrow has always been there in the thick of things, but he went further ahead making a solid impression in the game against the Chargers. He stood back in his own 15 yards and waiting for a hit. Renfrow soon deciphered that his team had just 10 players on the field on the return team. Instantly, it dawned on him that it wasn't a pound. That's when the little receiver went to work and made one of the most amazing games of the 2021 NFL season. This was when the spotlight began to really focus on this man and take notice on the new super receiver in town. The Las Vegas Raiders have had several excellent wide receivers during their 62-year history, and now they have another. However, the third-year man often flies under the radar. Maybe it's because Clemson's fifth-round draft selection in 2019 is only about 5'10 and 185 pounds. But then he's one of the best receivers out there at the moment. His connection with star quarterback Derek Carr has made sure that the QB always had nice words to say about his favorite receiver. As Carr stated in an interview, when he first saw Hunter, he had to make sure it really was him. And so it turned out to be. And by the last statement, we now know it means the birth of a super duo that would push the entire Raiders team. Since then, Hunter has been one surprise after another. The way he sees the game and how he plays the game has been incredible. He's one very tough, fast, incredibly sporty and agile player. This might seem like too much to say about one player, but he opposes some of the best defensive players out there and finds a way to open up and play. Now that's a lot to do. One of the most interesting things about him is that he sees the game in exactly the same way a dependable quarterback would want a receiver to. Therefore, he drives some unusual routes that can be hard to perceive. This makes the defense harder, which is part of the reason why he and Carr have been on a ride ever since he came. It must also be said that all of the awesome wide receivers that have represented the Raiders, Hunter is basically the size of a fast cliff branch. However, he's probably more so than Fred Blitnikoff, the Hall of Famer. This is because despite his excellent size and speed, he simply finds ways to open up. And he has been so hooked that it has created the saying, third and Renfro. This star player has brilliantly complimented Darren Waller with 49 receptions from 605 yards plus 4 touchdowns as a newcomer before adding 56 and 656 yards and 2 goals last season. So far this season, starting from Sunday's match versus the Cincinnati Bengals at the Allegiant Stadium, Renfrow has made 52 catches for 495 yards and 4 TDs in only 9 games, making a minimum of 5 catches per game, except for a few exceptions. 
In addition, Renfrow has developed a triple movement that caught the attention of legendary quarterback Bob Greeson, now a television analyst. The Raiders coordinator for attack, Greg Olson, disclosed that he developed the route from the original, which is called the dual movement, but then Hunter has made a triple move on it. The coordinator makes a remark that maybe he'll just return to do a single move, since based on the team's attack philosophy, they want to do things that look the same in defense but are different. In conclusion, Hunter Renfro has managed to grab 186 assists and 2,133 yards, along with 15 TDs in his four-year career at Clemson. This includes 60 receptions at 602 yards as a junior and 49 catches, 544 yards as a senior. Right now, he's having the career of his life, and that right there, my friends, is growth. Steady, purposeful growth that has got to make you wonder just how good he can get before retirement. And that's where we end today's video. What do you think of Hunter Renfro? Why do you think he's so good? Do you think he still has a lot to learn to sharpen the game? Do you see Raiders replacing him soon? How would you rate his connection with Derek Carr so far this season? Let us know what you think in the comments section below. Also, be sure to leave a like on this video, subscribe to the channel if you're new here, and hit the notification bell to make sure you don't miss out on our next video and other videos. Thanks for watching! Until next time, stay safe!